Hi, welcome to Andrew Buckle, book review of Dynamite Art of Alex Ross, one of the great artists for comics. I just love the work. And this is a massive collection of his work for Dynamite. Now, of course, there are characters in this that from elsewhere, but they're all Dynamite released comics. 323 pages. This book came out in 2011. Now, one issue with this, and I noticed a few people putting comments about the spine and damage. Mine had the same very badly damaged. Now, at some point, maybe it was just dropped or something, but I have noticed quite often they, they seem to get sort of ripped around here. Often I end up in good old magic tape around that, just to think, be unusual. Why didn't they put a really dramatic there? But they didn't. So you've got Dynamite Art of Alex Ross, obviously Vampirella, etc. Arts and Words by Alex Ross, and Introduction, Red Sonia. Really dramatic cover. Remember that scene, that cover when it came out. Oh, George R. R. Martin as well, Game of Thrones. Apparently Claw and Red Sonja. Apparently. And Vampirella. But also there's lots and lots of other characters. Many, I have no idea who they are. But luckily, actually, alongside, it does actually say the comic they come from. So you've got, it's got Lone Ranger and Zorro. So big clue there. That one Lone Ranger, another Lone Ranger one there. Even though I can work out that is Lone Ranger from Tonto. Tarzan. And also you've got Marvel comic characters. Though these were in the Dynamite's comics. Obviously the Invaders as well. Really spectacular. And also the pencil sketches, which I think are just absolutely awesome as well to include. I mean, I'd love to see a book full of all the pencil sketches as well. Not just the, the finished amazing artwork. It would have been great to see those, but just very dramatic. I mean, wow. I mean, wouldn't that have been brilliant? Golden Age comic. Also, there's one here, actually. One of the, I love the one with... Can I find it? Always the way when you look through this. Ah, not going to be able to find it. There's the red, red Skull with the Cosmic Cube. Just looks amazing. I love this as well. All the characters here. All the characters, obviously, over the years. Fearless Flint, Hydro Man, Doll Man, and so on. And you can see Yellow Jacket. Black Venus, The Hood, Rocket Man, Rocket Girl, and so on. Some have obviously slightly updated, but still, characters of the Fighting Yank. Obviously, many old characters that uh, appeared over the years. Mr. Face from Fighting Yank's War Journal. And this is Project Super War, uh, Superpowers. I did enjoy that, actually. That was quite a good comic book. I got the graphic novel of it. I thought it was quite spectacular. But uh, unfortunately, I haven't got it now, so I can't show you that. But there's still... I don't. Did they ever finish it? I got the first volume. After that, I'm not really certain what happened to it. But still, maybe at some point all those storylines will be finished. But, I mean, just absolutely stunning. Just stunning artwork, page after page after page. Now, this one, because they brought out loads of sort of slight, obviously, trade paperbacks with this one as well. Now, I bought quite a few of the comics as well, but the trouble is with Dynamite, they bring down so many. And literally, I, whenever I went to comic conventions, I would be going through them, and of course, you've got all the variant covers and things, and you get to the point where you have no idea what you're looking for. And quite often, I found it very struggle to actually get all the issues. So it's quite often easier just to get the graphic novels than try and piece it together from the actual comics, because quite often, I would find them a lot later. It wasn't sort of getting them as they were coming out. Of course, if you get them when they're coming out, it's a bit easier to do it. But you've got so many of the Patriots there. Also, the Black Baron's crew. And again, I'm not certain where all these fit in the various stories. Absolutely would not be able to say. Oh, Thulsa Doom. Oh, we've got Masquerade there. I think that was the name in this. Yes, Masquerade. Madam Mask, whatever it was. Madam, so Masquerade. I always think Blonde Phantom for some weird reason, a very similar sort of thing. And you've got Project Superpowers again, Meet the Bad Guys. You know, you've got all the bad guys, Bloodlust. That's a great villain name. <laughs> oh, then what other characters? The Revolutionary. Ah, oh, Human Torch. So you have got, like, obviously, yet more Marvel characters. Now, that was the Marvels one. Ah, oh, so there is some sort of Marvels. Again, I think that was material that was used in the, does it say the cover to Torch issue two? And then, of course, I mean, look at that. Just brilliant Marvel mystery comics. I love those ones. Again, you've got the... Oh, that's probably where it is. Is that... No. I know it's somewhere. Oh, Kirby Genesis. I love that as well. When that came out, I thought, wow. And again, you can see all the thumbnails and the pencil sketches as well. 
Just, oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. I mean, just how dramatic is that? I mean, that would be amazing on the ceiling, wouldn't it? One of those sort of, you've got the Renaissance ones where they put them all on, massive on the ceiling. Imagine that, looking up and seeing that on the ceiling. Sort of similar thing, obviously, the gods. Well, this is the equivalent of the modern age. Just truly wow. I have no idea who the characters are. <laughs> I couldn't tell you any of them. Some, some people say, oh, that's X, Y, Z. I have no idea. doesn't say. So wrap around for Kirby Genesis 1. I remember when it came out, I just thought, this, this is just amazing. Absolutely beautiful. And again, lots of, oh, we've got the evil eye there. I think Kirby Genesis, obviously very similar to the one, the evil eye in the Marvel comics. That's what immediately came to mind. Oh, the Steve Austin ones. Just brilliant. Barnet Man. I love those as well. Barnet Woman, all those sort of stories. Did they ever do a Barnet Woman one? I certainly did. Maybe they didn't. Captain Future. Never read that, I must admit. That's one that completely passed me by. And some other characters here. Again, lots and lots of sketches. All the covers there. Various ones. I don't know what... Oh, that's Project Number 12, it says there. Oh, thumbnail sketches for 9, 10 and 12. Even though there's four of them. Anyway, maybe there's obviously... That's very strange. But also, you got here, love it. Obviously, Flash Gordon as well. Beautiful book, absolutely stunning book. Very, very high quality book. Other than for slight damage that always seems to happen around there. Maybe your copy's fine. Maybe you've got an absolute perfect copy. But I have noticed that quite a few times. Maybe it's just the way that drops through the post or something and bang and sort of dents it. But it seems to be splitting away there, which is a pity. But this is just truly oh, shadow, of course, on the on the back. I mean. I mean, that would have been brilliant on a pulp magazine cover, wouldn't it? That would have been just... That would have sold it if you saw that on the cover. All the covers, obviously, the books in the 1970s. I just, just might, again, more thumbnails. Just throughout, this book is just pure quality. I love it. Alex Ross, Dynamite Art of Alex Ross. Really worth checking it. And copies can still easily be found. Well, as obviously at this point, I have no idea how that will change. I really wish that Dynamite would bring out more of these sort of books. They seem to have stopped. The ones that I have brought out have not been this sort of lovely, obviously I'd bar this like, thing there, this sort of quality, this style. I really, really, now maybe obviously they would be a lot more expensive now, but still I think they, hopefully, I keep thinking, will they bring out some more, the book cover ones, obviously the uh, like Deja Thores or Red Sonja one, they just haven't brought out volume three or volume four. I thought with obviously the recent, the anniversary, that they would bring out some more of these sort of cover books, because I love these cover books, just always great, but they haven't really been bringing out many of those, which is a pity, because I think they're just beautiful volumes, ones you can just just really admire, the stunning artwork all the way through. So this is totally, totally recommended. 